What's going on, everybody? I'm Giant Opinion Sports, and today we're going to talk about an interesting linebacker prospect. Troy Anderson has moved from offense to defense, multiple position changes. He's really settled in beautifully as a middle linebacker. He's another guy who's been steadily climbing up draft boards last month, and at the combine, he showed superior athleticism. This guy ran a 4.4240, put up a 36-inch vertical. He broad jumped 128 as well. Now, I know he was going to test well, but I just did not quite see them numbers coming. At the end of the season, I thought Trey Anderson would go probably fifth, sixth round. Right now, it's possible someone could fall in love with him and, and grab him as early as the second round. I think it's more likely he goes in the third, but you just never know in the NFL. You cannot ignore his athletic ability. He's relatively new to the linebacker, so you could say it could be a bit of a transition in the NFL. Not only is he new to linebacker, but he played at a small school as well. So there's going to be a lot dumped on Anderson his first year. So if you want to say he's more of a year two starter, I wouldn't argue with you very much about that. He's going to have to learn techniques. He's probably never had to deal with at the college level. He just needs reps more than anything. Now, just like Chad Muma, I think Anderson could be a great special team player just to start out and slowly work into a defensive role. But what I love the most is just his motor. This is a relentless individual. He has all gas, no brakes. Obviously, he's a sideline to sideline linebacker, so he has a huge advantage with just them two traits. Add on his great length. I mean, he's 6'3", 32 inch arms. He can be such a weapon, and that length will really help him with his tackling. I think he could develop into a great coverage linebacker. That's just my opinion. He has some struggles right now at the moment, but again, it goes back to just repetition. All the skills are there. Coaching is gonna be so crucial for him. I hope he goes to a team with, a, with great defensive tackles to keep second level blockers at a minimum. It's so important for middle linebackers to have a stout interior D-line. It's just, first of all, it's a luxury. You know, it gives you an extra tick to read a play, it gives you stable gaps to pursue the run. So if a team has no interior defensive line, I don't really want Anderson to start out his career in that kind of environment. Obviously, it would be nice for him to go somewhere. There's a seasoned veteran at middle linebacker as well, because I want to stress how undeveloped Troy Anderson really is. You see missed assignments on tape. You know, he's indecisive at times, takes false steps. Sometimes he takes poor angles. He just needs time to build up his instincts. It all boils down to that. Now, when I talked about Trayvon Walker, I mentioned a lump of clay. I had the same thoughts about Troy Anderson. It's top shelf clay, but the initial mold has to be properly done. He'll be a project for a coach, but I think it's a project you should be excited about because there's physical traits that you just cannot teach. So is he a boomer bust prospect? Absolutely. But I think if you bring him into the right surroundings and the right coaching, he's worth a shot. Now I know some teams have a policy that the first three rounds are in place for day one starters pretty much. So a lot of teams will still have a later round grade on him. But a team that's already built up like the Rams or Bucks or Steelers, they have the luxury to grab him earlier and invest the time needed to develop him. With picks like this, it's just always the case of the rich getting richer. You know, the Giants did this for years with the defensive linemen. It's the best thing about having a completely built team. You can take the risk and survive the consequences if it don't work out. I also think Troy Anderson can bring value on the offensive side as well. You can especially use him in a wild card in the red zone, line him up at quarterback, and listen, he's just dangerous. He has tons of experience with all that stuff, and we're seeing more and more of that nowadays. Troy Anderson has played quarterback, running back, fullback, and finally, middle linebacker. He's also took snaps at outside linebacker. So I'm very excited to see who drafts him, how they're going to employ him. I'm not worried about him playing in different schemes. At this point, he's so fresh, you can kind of mold him into any scheme that you want. You know, we saw him blitzing a lot at Montana State, so I think you could use him in a heavy blitz defense as well. By all reports, this is a high IQ player. I mean, he was a quarterback for a good stretch. I mean, that's a good indicator. He's a bright kid. Now, ultimately, I want to see him slide in the middle linebacker, but with his issues at the moment, with diagnosing and, and open field angles, that might restrict him to outside linebacker to start out. That's if a team wants to start him right out of the gate. Now, if I was the head coach that drafted him, I'd just sit him till he's ready to start at middle linebacker. 
that's where you're going to get the most value from them in the long run. But listen, I love the talent. If it's too big of a project for you, I'd understand. I'm the kind of person that likes to bet on talent. Now for my Giants, I'm starting to look at him in the fourth round because they have bigger holes to fill in the team. Now a team that has a ready to rock and roll roster, I think you can grab him much earlier. I have no idea where he'll be drafted. Maybe you guys can let me know what you all think. But anyways, thank you all for what you do for the channel. I appreciate you all, even the ones that challenge me. Like if your beliefs don't stand up to debate, then they're not worth holding. So please leave a like, that helps immensely subscribe if you're new lots more prospect videos to go thank you again stay safe out there everybody and peace